All right, welcome in our peeps today. I'm excited. We're doing Rick from Rick and Morty. Um, actually, yeah, a show I do t don't know too much about, and it's not probably one of my favorite characters. I haven't watched the show too much, um, but it is loosely based on one of my absolute favorite. Um, Doc Brown is the character Rick, and Morty is Marty McFly from the famous series Back to the Future. We're going to give it a try here. He's got a pretty simple characters and fe features on his face that I think I'll simplify and make this a pretty easy step by step. So we're going to start with that big kind of oval shape. So I'm going to start really really lightly from up to down making kind of like that egg shape over here and then I can go over that a little bit darker hey that looks really good now for the neck you can do a little a small neck that often cartoon characters have you can do his little t-shirt and then he has his lab coat right over the top one of arch it. that goes out this way and then one arch that kind of bumps out this way. And there, so we're gonna do his t-shirt first. So a couple lines that just go down and then a little zigzag line that goes over, back, and then over. Opposite on the other side. And there we go, we got that. We're gonna do his big eyes kind of right in the middle are kind of like, not upside down, but kind of twisted around C's. So it goes up there or like a U. And then over here as well. You can put a little line right in the middle of those. Color your circle in everything except a little bit of white in there for the same thing on the other side. That's looking pretty good so far. We're gonna do a little scoop for his nose. Goes down and then up. And then he has kind of a little smirk on this face. Very animated um, as the original Doc Brown from Back to the Future was. So we'll give him a little bit of a smirk. And then it almost has that same nose feature on one side and the other. Put some bags under his eyes, make him look a little bit older. And then probably about the most tricky part is his eyebrow. Kind of give him a Dwayne Johnson The Rock eyebrow. So it's almost like a snake or kind of like a worm that kind of tilts up at the end. So watch me do it and then see if you can manage to copy as best as you can. So it kind of goes up and then over. Loop that right around kind of like a bubble letter. And back to loop. Nice. And then give that a little action line up there. Nice, he's starting to look like it a little bit more now until we add his famous hair. His hair is always a little wild and crazy. Um, it kind of goes zigzags all the way around. Oh my gosh, and I got, forgot to hit my play button. I was just talking about how it actually reminded me of my thing one, my really, really old videos, how it kind of goes up. Down, up, down, all the way around. I did that same same similar style on here, on his wild, crazy hair. So that is what I did. And actually, I, could, I was gonna pause it anyways to go and make each side a little bit symmetrical. So I kind of started off over here, going out and then back in, out and then back in. Out and out and out in. And then I got to this point and I actually stopped. So if this one goes out, I wanted just about on the other side to also go out and then back in and some smaller ones that do the same thing. I'm gonna try to sneak two more. One and two. There we go, I like it. All right, that looks good. What am I missing yet? Oh, he needs some ears. I usually forget about some ears on here. So this one, pretty simple shape. He just got some loop on this side and then a loop over on this side. And we have our Rick. So I'm gonna go through this and Sharpie and think about what I'm gonna be doing for maybe a space-time continuum or a marvelous galaxy or something in the background. So I'll be thinking about that as I go over this in Sharpie real fast. All right, nice, that is looking good now and pretty awesome, but not quite as awesome as it's gonna look once I'm done. So let's get a little magic happen with my little thing one and turn them just like, boom. 
awesome. There he is. He is looking awesome. Easily one of my favorite ones that I've done in quite a while. I just really like the purple and the green in the background. And literally all I use is scraps and leftover crayons that I have. And I get um, this awesome color. So hopefully you can see that it's not about the supplies that you use. It's all about the techniques and tricks and little tips that I throw in there um, in all my videos that make these turn out so awesome. So I am excited about this one. Hopefully you guys are as well. I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's Art Class. We'll talk to you guys later.